We've been responsible for this. We have to treat nature better. Wildlife trafficking, which we're combating all over the world, is for one thing bringing people and animals in closer contact so that there's more opportunity for viruses to jump from animals to humans crossing the species barrier and this is particularly so in the the meat markets the wet markets of china the bush meat that's eaten in africa and other parts of asia and the hunting in europe and the united states as well so definitely the wildlife trafficking the movement of animals around the world is something that's very important Without any question, the diseases that we catch, the viruses, the bacteria, whatever, are, are of great danger to the chimpanzees. In the Ebola virus, many, many gorillas were completely wiped out in one of the uh, outbreaks. And I forget exactly which outbreak it was, but many chimpanzees were killed as well. So these viruses mutate and there's no borders for a virus. And it's been demonstrated so well in this current pandem pandemic. And I hope it wakes us up. The virus has traveled all around the world. So animal trafficking and the way we treat animals is important to everyone around the world. And there's another thing too, and that's as more and more of the forest or other environments are destroyed by developments, by humans needing more land to grow crops and so on. So animals have less space to live in the world. They're getting crowded together. And sometimes a a virus can can cross the species barrier from one animal to another and that other animal becomes the one that's liable to infect us. So it's not just us that's suffering, millions and millions of animals are suffering too and the intensive farms, the factory farms, where billions of animals are now crowded together, often in very unsanitary situations, that those situations too have led to uh, virus spreading from animals to people. So we have to start thinking about how we treat the environment, how we treat animals, as well as how we treat each other. So hopefully we emerge from the pandemic, as we will, we've, we've combated them before, and we are wiser, more respectful of nature, more compassionate towards each other and towards the animals with whom we share or should share this planet. <laughs>